Now, Nicola Sturgeon has officially resigned as Scotland's First Minister this morning in a letter to the King. She wrote, with my humble duty, I write as anticipated in my letter to Your Majesty of 15th of February to tender to Your Majesty my resignation from the office of First Minister. I propose that my resignation take effect from the start of the Scottish parliamentary plenary business of Tuesday the 28th of March 2023. Her resignation coming ahead of a vote in Holyrood this afternoon, which is expected to confirm Hamza Yousaf as Scotland's next First Minister. And Nicola Sturgeon saying on Twitter, from me for now, thank you, Scotland, for the privilege. Let's go to Holyrood and our Scotland correspondent, Connor Gillies. Uh, so, Connor, uh, an emotional day then for Nicola Sturgeon as she leaves Butte House for the last time. Uh, and we wait for the new leader. Yeah, a day of procedure and formality for Nicola Sturgeon, who has been in the highest office here in Scotland for more than 3,000 days. And within the last few minutes, that premiership is over. Let's look at pictures now taken uh, a short while ago inside Butte House, the official residence of the First Minister, writing that resignation letter to the King. Uh, that moment, no doubt, emotional for her as she passes over the baton to her successor, Hamza Yusuf, who will be sworn in here in Edinburgh in just a few hours' time. And shortly after those images were taken at Butte House, uh, Nicola Sturgeon posted a tweet. Let me guide you through exactly what that says. She said, just signed my formal letter of resignation and departed Butte House for the final time. Next stop... Scott Parle here at Scottish Parliament to vote proudly for Hamza Youssef as Scotland's sixth First Minister. For me, for now, thank you, Scotland, for the privilege. The words of Nicola Sturgeon, the former First Minister of Scotland, who is now making her way that short one-mile journey, ten-minute drive down to the Scottish Parliament here for that confirmatory vote. Uh, which will confirm that Hamza Youssef is Scotland's next First Minister. MSPs will vote. He has the backing of the majority of those MSPs, thanks to the support of the Green Party, the other pro-independence group here at Holyrood. But there is a big task ahead. He has to unify a divided SNP group who have taken part in a bitter contest over the course of the last couple of weeks. And let's remember, tens of thousands of SNP supporters voted for his main rival, Kate Forbes. They voted for change. Her slogan was, continuity won't cut it. And how will he square that circle and bring her on board? Will he pull her into the mix when it comes to his cabinet, that reshuffle that will be coming over the course of the next few hours and days as well? Will he promote her further, potentially to the post of Deputy First Minister? Who knows, but he has that task of trying to unify the party. He's got clear issues when it comes to his policies as well. What will he do with the question of independence, furthering that cause with a movement who are itching at the bit uh, for that second vote on Scottish independence. How will he make that work in a way that Nicola Sturgeon did not, while at the same time trying to win over the public support of the wider uh, section of Scotland who are not in support of Scottish independence? It is a huge task, and we'll see more of what happens here at Holyrood in the coming hours.